Okay, we got another unboxing today. Um, this time I got some Terminators for my Imperial Fists, taking my, me up to ten, three squads of ten. Can never have too many Terminators. So let's get on with the unboxing then. Please excuse me with my own, as I'm only trying to hold the camera with the other hand. Bases, standard 20, uh, 40 mil. So, we've got uh, the back of the packs here. Nothing special about them. Uh, you do have one there, which is for the banner, which is different from the others. We've got a loin, almost sort of like Roman style loincloth. Sort of there. And then down here we've got various front parts uh, in uh, various designs. I'm assuming that that one there is for the sar for a sergeant. Various different designs, and we got uh, some incense. I think they they seem to be incense or sort of things. Anyway, that's the first one. All right. So the next one here. Got two sets of legs, uh, a running one and a sort of wide stance one. We've got a teleport beacon. Very good for object, uh, objective markers, I find these. We then got five helmeted heads. Um, we've got all sort of standard heads. That one's got a, seems to have a slightly different sort of facial part to the others. Then got some decorative bits. We've got some shoulder pads. Got the standard sort of skull shoulder pads for them. Um, one slightly elongated one for a sergeant. And a normal shoulder plate for a normal guy there. We then got the other shoulder plates without the uh, little plaque. And then the other three legs. Personally, I love that one because I assume that one's for the sergeant because of the elongated part there, opposed to the others. But it's just posed fantastically. That one also is fantastically posed. And having assembled a total of five boxes of Terminators already before this, I do love my Terminators. So now we're on to our next bit. So we got our power fists. So we got four power fists in this unit, in this box here. My main gripe with this box, if anything, is that it only gives you four power fists. So if you wanted a unit of uh, just to get a box to add some more power fists to the mix, you can't. So if I wanted to get, say, a 10-man squad and just equip them a bog standard sort of equipment, I can't. I would have to equip one of them with the chain fist at least. Which is a bit disappointing, really. You got uh, four storm bolters there. Standard kit for the marine, for them. The assault cannon. Which I probably will be using on this one because I've already got some... Uh, a unit with two cyclone missile launchers. Got a heavy flamer. Very good, but I probably won't be using this. It's very good because it's cheap. Only five points compared to the 30 for the assault cannon or cyclone missile launcher. But I probably won't be using this because this is not... It's... Well, Terminator... The normal standard Terminators aren't really designed to deal with infantry. That's what the Lightning Claw Terminators are really there for. Then got our power sword for the sergeant and his bolt pistol. Or actually, it's a slightly different type of bolt pistol. Because the others here have got all got the uh, sort of squared magazines, but this one doesn't have a squared magazine. I always find this one a little weird. I try not to use this one, but some sometimes it's just unavoidable. 
it just doesn't quite look right with today's mo models. And we've also got two chattering fists, one open fist and one closed fist. Uh, one with the skull on as well. I do love the chain fists. I reckon that every squad should have at least one chain fist in them. They're only five points and they give you, they just are oh, destroy vehicles. So over to the other half of it. We got a ban on the back. I probably won't be using this, namely because the fact is that it makes them rather difficult to uh what's the word? Um put in the putting in the cases, etc. It's okay if they're going to be on display, but not if you're going to be carting them around anywhere, really. And we got our uh, front torso there. Uh, that one's got a little bit of wiring there, which I believe is to go into the Cyclone Missile Launcher. So that's the front part, front one for the Cyclone Missile Launcher. Unfortunately, when I first assembled them, I didn't realise this, and I put mine on my... Uh, librarian which you may have seen um, but it does it is rather nice We've then got a fancy uh, sh uh, shoulder pad I'll probably be using this on a little conversion which you might see later on but it is a really nice one I absolutely love this my t my librarians actually got two of these from two different kits so you then got a couple shields which go in the sockets and then we got a whole pile of little additional bits so we got a skull trophy rep, we got a skull, aquila and I'm not quite sure what that one is, it's a sort of square skull we'll call it got some of the incense and a laurel all for the sort of decorative parts we got some Purity seals, a uh, bareheaded head for a sergeant or a, for a sergeant or one of your other loins, and another one of those loin cloths. And then we got our cyclone missile launcher. It comes in four different parts. Uh, what I feel is a very good idea is if you've got one of these to not stick it on because it is incredibly easy to magnetize this one, and it does slot on on and off very easily so you can double up what to use one of your cycling marines as a normal terminator so it is rather good and a quick look at the instruction book very very sort of simple tells you how to build the stand the heavy weapons the sergeant and the cycling missile launcher as well as the normal terminators. So I will go and build this up for you and then I will see you in a minute. So I finished building them. Uh, the first thing which most Space Moon players will notice is that this unit is not legal. This is because I'm adding to another unit. Because I've got my uh, terminators from the uh, for the the reach box there which I'm currently in the middle of painting uh, and I'm going to be adding these guys to them uh, they are fantastic to build I have always loved Terminators the fact that I've got three units of ten just shows that um, I've assembled these ones with assault cannons because I think it needed a bit more anti-infantry and because of such, they've only got two chain fists in the unit. Plus a normal marine will be added. Normal guy. Um, so yeah, they, they are a fantastic kit. Uh, the only gripe I've really got is that they don't give you enough normal uh, pa uh, shoulder pads, etc. For example, I had to use the sergeant one, legs, arm etc on the normal terminator I mean I can understand the legs but the shoulder pads is no not really an excuse why they can't fit on just two more one more alternate shoulder pad on but it's a very small gripe uh, uh, that, that's my 
um, the unboxing this time around. Uh, I will have some more coming up later. And I hope you enjoy them. <laughs>